Hello everyone, I am Mrs. Medrano, the Donna High School campus principal, and I am here today with Cesar Zamora, our 2022-2023 student body president. And today, uh, Cesar and I will be having a Q&A regarding student safety, as well as some of the changes that we will be seeing this school year here in Donna High School, including our student dress code. Okay. Um, thank you for meeting with me today. I really do appreciate it. Um, my first question is regarding dress code. Um, I know there's probably a lot of questions because um, there's a little bit of a change to the dress code. So I just want to ask, can you elaborate on that? Yeah, absolutely. And you are correct. We have received uh, several phone calls as well as questions on social media. Yeah. So we did put out a, a flyer recently regarding some of the changes. And so I think the biggest change that I need to address is the expectation of backpacks. Yeah. So in the past, we have allowed any type of, of bag. Mm -hmm. And this year, we are going to require that all students utilize either a clear or mesh backpack okay. and so um i know that one of the questions that came up um already was regarding uh, students who are involved in extracurricular activities yeah. have you heard anything no yeah i had the same concern because i'm in tennis and i know we have to bring our bags so i was like "Ooh, what, what's gonna happen with that yes so that is a good question um what we are going to expect from all of our students who are involved in extracurricular activities, whether they are student athletes or whether they are involved in fine arts, such as um, mm. dance per se, yeah. all of our students, once they get dropped off or they arrive on the bus, um, the expectation is that all students will report to their locker room straight to their locker room yeah, and leave their bags there. And then, of course, they can access them once they have that athletic or dance period. But the requirement will be that as soon as they get dropped off, either bus or parent drop off, students will have to make their way immediately to their mm -hmm. locker room. I hope that answers that. Yeah. Um, a follow up question. Will you say the new dress code is a little bit more freeing for the students? Is it less strict, more strict? That is a great question. Um, Yes, I, I think we are more flexible than yeah. traditionally in, in the past we, we had been. And I think that the reason we're, we're moving into allowing more flexibility is we really want to focus on student attendance. We really need yeah. our kids to be here. If students are, are, are going to be successful, they need to be in the classroom. And so I want the focus to be on students being here, being on time and learning instead yeah. of on, on what they're wearing. So um, I, I hope that answers that, that question. No, yeah. It's not that it's a free for all and, and you can wear or that students can wear whatever they want, yeah, but, but we really do just want to focus on having kids here, on having them present. And so um, there are a couple of questions that we have received regarding the use of halter tops or mm -hmm. crop tops. Um, and, you know, are, are they allowed? Are they not allowed? Um, maybe it, it wasn't too clear when we posted it out there. But but yes, they're still allowed. You know, crop tops are allowed as long as they um, don't expose any undergarments or, or any of, you know, private body parts, then they'll continue to be allowed. Thank you for allowing students to express themselves more. Um, it really is appreciated by the students, I'm sure. Um, my second question is regarding student safety. Um, I know last year there is an issue regarding safety and I know we had to get shut down for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So for this next school year, can you please elaborate what safety measures are being taken place? That is a great question, um, Cesar. We have received a couple of phone calls with um, some of our community uh, members, our parents, right, mm -hmm. are concerned and, and wondering if there's going to be remote learning um, because they would like that as an option instead of having their kids come physically to campus. And um, there is no remote learning available from T. Okay. That's not an option available from TEA at this time. Currently, there is an exterior safety door audit that mm -hmm. is taking place. So we're working, collab we at the campus are working collaboratively with central office okay. uh, personnel, including our safety and risk management department, our police chief and our custodial um, department. So we are ensuring that all of our exterior doors are functioning properly oh, as they great. should be. And, and that um, we have a keyless, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen any of the teachers, they have either a little key fob oh, or a yeah, keyless yeah. card entry that we use. So we are making sure that all of those pieces are functioning 
uh, properly and okay. as they should. And anything that is not, we are ensuring to report it right away, submit a work order and get that fixed immediately. Great. Yes, um, but there are other things that are occurring as well. Um, we are adding additional security officers and police officers, um, not only at Donna High School, but really across all campuses here um, in the district, yeah. as well as our city um, police department. They are committed to doing more rounds around each of the That's campuses. Great. Yeah, and, and in order to identify um, who our staff is, who our visitors are, all of our staff will continue to wear their IDs, um, their employee IDs oh, and, okay. and have them be visible at all times. Uh, we will also ensure that all visitors continue to check in on campus. And so if a visitor wants to come in, there is only one point of entry and that'll be at the front of, of, of the campus where, where it is right now. And so um, it is very important that all visitors carry a valid ID as these IDs will be scanned before mm -hmm. they, uh, they are allowed any entry to the campus. So whether they are visiting with administration, with the nurse, um, with a teacher, mm -hmm. or for, for whatever reason, that ID needs to be scanned um, in order to gain um, entrance to the campus. Uh, more interruptions or frequent interruptions that we had last year was uh, food deliveries. Oh, yes. So we know how popular mm -hmm. those um, food deliveries are here at Donna High School, mm -hmm. um, both for, actually it's both for staff and for students. Mm -hmm. And so that is something that will be prohibited completely okay. this school year. Uh, if if any, if we change that, it, you know, you, um, the community will be notified, but as of right now, no food deliveries will be accepted. And unfortunately we will have to turn that um, away. Yeah, that service I agree. away. Mm -hmm. And so um, we as a campus administration, we are also committed to have a mobile working station. So mm -hmm. instead of having to um, complete some of the tasks that that are expected right daily, instead of having to uh, complete those tasks behind a, a workstation per se um, in, in an office, we have um, access some rolling carts and we mm. will be using those rolling carts with our laptops, our radios, and just really be way more visible in the hallways, even during instructional time. And so we'll be able to just keep an eye more closely on who's in the hallways. Yeah. Uh, you know, whether it's a, a student or a visitor and just really be um, more vigilant and, and just really focus in on student safety. Okay. And, and student supervision. So that's something that um, we are, um, as a campus um, leadership team, are committed to do this school year. Something that really pulls us away from being in the hallway or being on, on cafeteria duty and really talking to our students yeah. and um, something that really pulls us away from that is the um, visitors that we have on campus uh, daily. Right. And so what we are wanting to do this school year is we are, are asking all of our visitors, our parents and our visitors to ensure that they call the school and make an appointment um, before they come over so that we know to free up some of that time that we want okay. to really spend in the classrooms and spend in the hallway so that we can calendar that in and know that we are expecting someone. Does, that's great. Does, does that make sense? No, yes. Yeah. So um, that's something that we really want to uh, implement this school year to ensure that all visitors and parents call the campus, make an appointment so that uh, campus administration or counselor or, or whoever the appointment needs to be with so that that um, employee knows that we need to free up some time in our calendar to meet with um, said visitors. OK, yeah, that's that's great. Actually, that really makes me feel better because I know last year it was a bit of a scary time. So I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy there's, to hear there's a lot of safety measures. There, there are. So I know that I said added you know, security and added police, but it's not only the addition of, of bodies, but the training mm. that comes with that. Yes. So they, um, our personnel, our school police, they have been um, receiving training, um, updating okay. their, their training on safe, safety measures and they will be here. I know here specifically at Donna High School, 
um, in about two weeks and they will be training our staff on how to respond to uh, perhaps you know an emergency mm -hmm. including a very you know unfortunate but realistic maybe active shooter threat and yeah. so how to respond to that and so the staff will be trained on on such measures and then they will be able to turn it around in and share that information with our students and then practice with our students because we will be following uh, the mandatory drills not only the fire drills but our our lockdown drills our shelter drills and so um, we they are getting trained and they will share that with us we will share that with our students so that everybody knows what to do in the event of, of having an emergency on campus okay that's great that's yeah. perfect um that would be all of my questions. Thank you, Ms. Medrano, for taking the time to really discuss this because it really was um, a topic of interest among the community. You're welcome, Cesar. And I understand that it is a, a topic mm -hmm. of concern. And in, in closing, really, I just wanted to add that it's a whole team effort. The, the safety of our students is a whole team effort. So I just wanted to stress the importance of if you see something, say something. So yes. not not only um, are it's it's really our students, right? Mm -hmm. Who they they see something suspicious, they hear something suspicious. It is so important that our students speak to a trusted adult, find a trusted adult, whether mm -hmm. it's your tennis coach or whether it's your band instructor or your English teacher mm -hmm. or your parents, whoever yeah. wh whoever that trusted adult is for you. If you see something or hear something that is off, that is concerning, then it's so important to find a trusted adult. And if it, sometimes there are students who don't wanna freely share, they'll say, well, I don't want anybody to know, then I want to remind our community, our students, our, 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 our parents, that we also have the anonymous alert system on the oh. district website. So that is a, a way to report um, suspicious behavior, if you will, and completely 100% anonymously. Perfect. And so it is important that, that when that anonymous report is being made, that as much detail is shared as, yes. as possible um, so that we can take immediate action. But, um, the, you know, I, I really wanted to stress that it is really the commi a commitment of the entire school mm -hmm. community. So just, I really just, you know, want to stress that again. If you see something or hear something, say something. Yes. Okay. Um, well, thank you. Um, I honestly can't wait for the next for this next school year. I'm just really excited. I'm really happy hearing all this new safety measures and dress code, and I'm sure all the students are excited too. They are. I. I we have uh, a lot of our students who are already back. They're already practicing for band. Our mm -hmm. our athletes have been showing up and really putting in some work in the weight room, out on the field. And so um, our teachers are, uh, some of them are already here prepping their yeah. classrooms and, and just really committed to just making 2023 a safe and exciting and successful school year for everyone. So we are excited to welcome all of our students back to the Redskin Reservation.